Hi everyone, today I'm joined in Zapekiss by Seabad. We're doing another 1v1. How you doing, Seabad? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing good. So, these are the maps we selected. Same format as always, top four I picked, next four Seabad picked. Um, I'll let you go first. Where would you like to start? Ooh, uh, you know what, let's, let's start with, with Rubber Band. Let's do that. Okay. Didn't want to start with Mammoth saving it. <laughs> hey, a little bit. Putting it in the back pocket. Exactly. But at the same time, it's like I, I feel like that's that's a little uncool to be like the very first one. Yeah, I just starting know. out with a free win. I mean, maybe I've been practicing Mammoth for the past three months. You don't know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I although, don't use GTR. I, although I will say, um, I was playing it two days ago. Yeah. And I may have set a new PV. Oh my. When you say PV, what you actually mean to say is world record. <laughs> yes, yes, but. <laughs> still, no one has beaten your author time, right? Is that no, still no, a no, thing? No, no, no. like four oh. days ago. Dude. Oh, Sock really? Sock actually get, got down to a 113, I believe. Oh, all right. Which is, yeah, author was a low 114. Yeah, you're going to have to increase the author time then. So yeah. what uh what was the time that you put down then? Uh, so my previous PV was a, a one twelve point four something. Yeah. And my new PV is a one eleven point nine. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> it's just not yeah, it fair. Just... <laughs> We're gonna yeah. get to that map, and you're gonna send me at least one of your runs so I can put it in because I'm gonna get like. A 118. Like, it's not even gonna be remotely <laughs> close. <laughs> but it's fine. If, uh, as long as I can use some of your footage. Again, I, I, I think I want to do that as almost like a bonus round. Like, I don't want to win bonus because safe of that level. <laughs> wow, already counting this as a win. That's crazy. We're, like, we're, not... we're two minutes in. You don't want, you don't want your win to be because of that. I, I see mean, how it is. It it's kind of like it, it's <laughs> it's kind of a guaranteed. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I really don't want to be. We like we are the two best ice players in the game, but that's your map. Even though you you just like ice. I mean, that's irrelevant. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I enjoy it. We haven't talked about this map at all. I like this map a lot. This is a pretty kind of old one, right? Uh, yeah, this is this is at least like eight months old. Oh, say. wow. So, yeah, it's about twice player. as long as I've been playing this game. <laughs> cool. Yeah, me and, uh, back in the day, me and this other player, Blue, he, yeah. he, he beat the record and then people were like, oh man, that's an insane time on this map. I was like, challenge accepted, and so I beat his time, and then he beat my time, and within like two weeks, we both knocked it down, like another second. So you've been grinding this map. Uh, I have not played it, apart from like the occasional once or twice, like a month when it's been in the lobby. Yeah. I've not played it really since then. Okay. I generally like this map. I'm not sure where I'm losing so much time. I can pretty much always 52 it. I don't know why I'm not right now. There's there's a few hard transitions that you've got to uh, do. Yeah, and some of them I think are a little unintuitive. Like the uh, before, what is the checkpoint? In between three and four, like how you actually want to get airtime there. I feel like that's a little unintuitive. Yeah, I, actually, finally enough, uh, Blue, he actually refused to do that. Oh, um, interesting. And, and so, was still yeah, like, competing? We were, so, what? And he was like still competing, like even without yeah, was, doing it that. Yeah, it was close. It was close without doing it. Yeah, it was close. That's crazy. So it's like, for me, it was more of I'm more likely to get a good uh, landing doing that versus just going straight across. Yeah. Whereas for him, I think it was the opposite of. So it's fast either way, and there might be like a <sighs> small gain in time. I think like, um... one way over the other. But, yeah. 
uh, the speed also doesn't really matter so like if you land it well or like bounce a little like it doesn't really matter because that booster will get you the same speed regardless yeah that's true like that's not really a point where you need to worry about conserving speed it's just take the like shortest distance traveled do you jump here? You do? Okay, I do that as well. I know people will seem to be split on, like, jumping over that part or, like, trying to minimize air. Oh, I thought air. you were talking. I thought you were talking about that part. No, it... I was talking about, like, in between checkpoint three and four, before, uh, right before the skip. Like, you're jumping, uh, like, into one, the checkpoint there. Yeah, I think it is slightly faster to do that. Mm, let me see what I want to go with. Let's go with Prehistoric Parkway. I really like this map. GG's. I mean, like you're, you're good at that map. Those are just, those are solid times, though. Both 52. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not upset with a 52-7. Mm -hmm. Um, this I is. Think we got it down to like a high 51. I'd believe it with some grinding and whatnot. I mean, it's a five-minute lobby. You're probably not gonna put down like your absolute best yeah, time. Yeah, no. <laughs> And also, like you said, it's not like you're like grinding that map constantly and like just have it down. This is one of the first maps I ever played, and it was one of my favorites then, and it probably still is. This map is so cool. Yeah, it, there's a lot of good sections. It's it's one of the earlier corn shop maps, right? I believe so, but I mean, again, I'm not like one of the OG guys. <laughs> like, yeah. corn shot had quite a few maps by the time I joined the game. It was kind of interesting because it was like corn shot. He had, I think, he had released several maps. But it's just kind of like no one knew about him, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah, like he just started making like insane ones. Yeah, but also he had a few good maps. It was just like nobody really paid attention to him. Yeah. Until the uh, the SSX oh, ones, I think, were his first ones, right? SSX. The did you play SSX? It's a like snowboarding game oh. on the GameCube. At least I played it on the GameCube. I don't know what. Like it, people played it on. I SSX was know. so fun. It was just some hmm. snowboarding game. But yeah, he made a he remade a few of the maps in Zapekist, and I think those are like his first ones. And was then he just started making. One? Is that ski slope one a corn shot? Um, the ones would be Garibaldi, Aloha, Ice Jam, and I think there's one more, but I don't remember what it is. There were, like, there were maps in that game. And then Cornshot went to more, like, of these maps, like, seemingly just kind of, like, pick a theme and go with it, and these ones are mm -hmm. all oh, no. crazy. Yeah. Just so good. Yeah, they're a lot of fun, but it, I do... It's kind of hard when you're first getting into it because there's so many, like, paths. Yeah. Like, which, which one's faster? Yeah, I would say normally as well. Like, I don't like maps with cuts or cheeses most of the time because it's like, if you know, you know. And also a lot of the time they're, like, not that fun, like, cuts or cheeses. But it's like, corn shot, like, that's his thing. And it's, like, kind of cool to be like, oh, there's yeah. this path here. Or, like, oh, the risky finish. Yeah. And wow. there's times where it's like, especially like the, his, uh, his like aquarium map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of those aren't like, faster. For the longest time, it was like, oh, this is the fastest way. And we've optimized it for so long. It's like, this is definitely the fastest way. And then like months after it, it had been released, it's like, oh, that way is actually, this completely different way is actually a little bit faster. <laughs> Yeah, I, did not know I really that. like that map. Maybe I should have picked that one because I can't seem to get a good time on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I normally struggle a lot with this one. It's, it's oh, the, really? I feel like... The, jump, the jumps on the skeletons, it's... Uh, yeah, the I, I, I always fly off, yeah. I always fly off the, the edge on that second one. We're doing a bit of a roll reversal. I feel like I pretty much always mid-101 this, like, first run. And now I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see. I, I, ever shot that. I need to get need to get a snipe down. Yeah. That's not a good jump. Oh, did he do the whole? Did he do the the finish line trick on the on the? Uh, like uh, going on the left the of that tar? bridge. On the tar? No, on the tar. 
on the top. No way, I just didn't want to one this. That's crazy. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, no. In the tar, do you die, insta die when you hit it? No, you don't. I believe the tar is a big huh. slow stir. Okay. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I'm in photo mode right now. Oh. Wait, is that a fin? What is that? I think on the on the left side of the the very last bit of it, I felt like I insta died when I crossed it. No, I think they're just slow stirs. Did you like uh, land head first or something? Maybe uh, yeah, you died that way. Have, <laughs> yeah, I may have clipped something on the head. Right, what do I want to go with? I need it. I'm gonna go with the Maki map because I don't think you know it. <laughs> I need to get a win on the board. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't supposed to be losing these maps because Mammoth is a guaranteed <laughs> loss. <laughs> this one, I think, was like last week release, something like that. I've played oh, it I love twice. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know this one. So, the only like quote unquote trick that you might not know, like your first run, other than that, I feel like you can kind of like just play it first run and like have no issues is on all of these jumps aiming slightly left or right will get you a better landing there's like ramps off to the side so do that for sure and outside of that i feel like this map like you can put down a time on your like first run playing it like not really an issue it's like pretty open like you can see the track there's not any like blind or like confusing bits yeah but i, I was just looking before we uh started this I, I hadn't even picked my maps until literally minutes before this and so i just pulled up like maki's workshop and was like all right i know there's some good ones here what do i want to play yeah there's always a few good ones horse is one of them yeah maki is one of them Bitchy. some of his older maps are a little eh but like again like his his newer more yeah recent map have been really good i mean corn shot code wall um, Billy, like you can't forget about those guys. Yeah. They're kind of the staples, I feel like, and the, for good reason. <laughs> they're the go-to. They just spend so much time on their maps, and they're just always so good. They're fun to play. Mm -hmm. But this, uh, you don't really see, like, I, I don't think I can think of a single other full sand map off the top of my head. Like, maps maybe have, like, a section of sand or something, but... You almost never really see full sand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, and much like ice, not very many people like it. <laughs> that's fair. I feel like sand is more liked just because it has more friction. Yeah, that's true. Slightly more. Fair enough. But like grass, like I can think of plenty of full grass maps and that's not that different from sand. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of them are just like I'm building this very annoying track, come beat it, kind of maps. Kinda, kinda, yeah. And as, uh, as always, I feel like I should point out how absurd Maki's author time is. 113 breaks. Yeah, just insane. I think he said he spent an hour on that before getting the 113. Yeah, that one fifth. I mean, like, I'm still two seconds behind author time, and that seemed all right. I mean, not great by any means, but I feel like I didn't mess up two seconds. Uh, oh, man, you really got to land on those uh, jumps to the side. I've like, yeah, go, yeah, you get a lot more speed. And I have the speed. I actually like it. It kills me. Yeah. Oh I yeah. You get a lot more speed. It's I mean, just a much smoother landing. Yeah. If you don't put a time down, I'm going to feel a little bad for picking this. <laughs> but you picked Mammoth, so yeah. we're even. Yeah, 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 I was about to say, <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm just going to do Mammoth. I'm going to pick Mammoth. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe people will see your Mammoth run and then steal your lines. I've been meaning to release a video, like, almost like a play-by-play -play tutorial. Yeah, you should. Uh, like slow it down and like draw some arrows and have some cool exactly. cool stuff yeah well it's 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 kind of interesting the, like i've been thinking about more or i've been thinking more about how to explain like bobsled mm -hmm. and a lot of it is the way you approach it is almost like the way you approach like mazes when you're younger where it's like sometimes it's easier to just Ooh, that was... I slid out a lot there. Would you say... Uh, 
Sorry, go ahead. So, sometimes it's easier to just like solve the maze backwards. Oh, yeah, like you think For, about like, how you want to leave the like turn or something. Yeah. This is either going to be a very slow time or DNF. I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I think you're going to be DNFing. Off. I'm going to be honest. Because I just went past you and I reset with barely enough time. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> would you say Bobsled's oh, well. kind of like trial and error? Like you want to like just figure it out? Or do you feel like you can kind of like go into a map and just like get it? It's, it's very difficult to do, like just go straight into it. Oh, I didn't get a time. A lot of it is. Do you know uh, what map you want next? Do you want there. Mammoth? Uh, yeah, let's go Mammoth. All right. Get it over with, right? Yeah, I yeah, I mean, I gotta win. You gotta make sure <laughs> I don't win two in a row. I get it. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. All right. And you're gonna be sending me at least one of your runs because there's gonna be a noticeable difference on this map. <laughs> Yeah, if I if I don't uh, get a good run now, I'll send you one of the runs I did earlier. Okay, <laughs> I uh, I'm pretty confident you'll have no problem getting a good run. <laughs> I don't know how to oscillate. You're already yeah, passing it's... me, dude. We're ten seconds in. <laughs> Chill. I mean, we started about the same time, so. <laughs> Chill. Ooh, that was not a very good landing there. You're still faster. That's crazy. Well, yeah, so it's it's hard to go straight in. You kind of need to memorize the whole map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just because it's all about minimizing, minimizing drifting. But sometimes you have to drift early on in order to minimize the drift later on, just because. Mm, interesting. Yeah, so, and then a lot of it has to do with the oscillations. Yeah, that's... So that's what I was saying about earlier. It, well, the, the oscillations is one thing I feel like I've learned, like, kind of playing a little. I don't play much ice. I try not to. I play I play as little as possible. But, uh, like, playing with you and, like, having you look at, like, what I'm doing and telling me where I lose time is that, like, it's not actually a bad thing to oscillate. Like, I, I just kind of assumed you want to, like, enter in the middle and leave in the middle and just be smooth and straight and, like, that would be ideal. But it's, like, not really. Like, it's actually a good thing a lot of the time to kind of have those ups and downs. Well, at the end of the day, it's always going to be faster to take it straight for that turn. Like, you're going to le lose yeah. the least amount of speed doing that. But, but it doesn't always set you up well. Exactly. And so, a lot of tracks, it's, this is why I'm talking about, uh, you want to solve it. Like, you want to go, you want to almost solve it going backwards. And not, not like, oh, drive backwards, but more like start at the end of the track. Yeah, think about how you want to leave every turn and that'll tell you how you want to enter every turn. Exactly. So it's like, it's kind of like how if you enter in a, a turn at the bottom and that causes you to exit going at the top of the turn, you want, and it's beneficial for you to exit at the bottom of the turn. Mm -hmm. That means you want to enter the turn going at, at the top. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't really think about it like that. Oh, that, yeah. So it's it's kind of like because it's it's almost like a, a sine wave, and so you're controlling <laughs> wave. where that sine wave. I yeah, love it. The background. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, th I was never gonna get a CBAT video without some engineering. Uh, that's fair <laughs> enough. But yeah, so you wanna you wanna start it so that you exit at the right spot. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, you, you're probably the only reason I was able to beat Maki's, uh, Bob check map was, like, telling me where I was going wrong. And it's, like, it is kind of fun, like, when you get it right, it's, like, oh, like, I actually did that well and, like, can kind of tell I did it good and, like, that's awesome. But it's just so annoying. <laughs> it's yeah. just not worth it. <laughs> Yeah, bomb check actually took me a solid like forty-five minutes to complete. I think. Oh wow! And then once I did, it it just clicked, and then it was just kind of like, who can who can? Yeah, the and then you down. and Maki started competing for record or something crazy. Mm -hmm. I might have completed it in less time than I don't think I spent the forty-five minutes on it, and it had nothing to do with you telling me exactly the line. 
and yeah, watching no, my screen no. until I learned it all on my own. <laughs> okay, this is a, this is a wow. better time. I but... uh, was obviously not expecting to win, but I was at least expecting a, like a 118 or <laughs> something. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. All right, I oh, watched well. you going to the finish there. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Two days great. ago, I I put down a one eleven nine, which is yeah. Mm. When I when I put the my previous PB was the one twelve four. Are you good at Billy's and Halloween? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. <laughs> I only ha I need to at least get two wins. I can't just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'd say I'm solid at Billy's Halloween. I mean, Billy maps again. Like, like I said, I picked these maps as we were starting <laughs> recording, and it was just like, let me go to Billy's page. Let me go to Maki's page. Let me like, <laughs> which maps do I want oh, of these people? I, I remember. I remember this one. Not not very much of it, but. I do remember it. Okay. I think that's that's fairly good. Right? I mean, I, don't know, to say. I, I wouldn't be I surprised. Like you're three or four months. You're fairly good at pretty much every map. I don't think that's unreasonable to say. I do I like this map, though. A, yeah. It's kind of funny. I was talking to some other people earlier. Mm -hmm. And it's like you got like players like John G, Warkins, even even uh, uh, Maki, Zoom, Zoom in, yeah, and Maki. Fast. Yeah, it's like they're 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 very fast on like almost oh. every type. Yeah, Whereas I feel me, like I'm like I'm yeah. for sure slower than them on most maps except for ice. <laughs> I feel like it's like you. Like that's what makes the better, the best players like the best players is that they're consistent. At, like they're going to be good on everything. Like they're not going to have a weakness. Yeah. Like I mean, everybody, anyone can win on any like given map. Like, I mean, I mean, you, I'm sure, have both lost like in just public lobbies to people on their second day in the game of just like a map that like we didn't know or something, and it's like that like, just, might just happen. Yeah. It might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's like anyone can win any map. Like one map yeah, isn't. You... It's harder when it's like their map that they made. It's like, yeah, they only have like 10 hours of uh, like multiplayer mm -hmm. practice, but then they've grinded this map for like 30 hours. Yeah, true. But like, yeah, the consistency is what's impressive with people who are just good at everything. Yeah. I feel like you being so good at ice hurts your reputation in the community because everyone's like, oh yeah, Seabed's the ice guy. But it's like, no, Seabed's pretty darn good at everything. <laughs> He's I, just I, exceptionally I am, good at ice. <laughs> I'm I'm more than happy because I know that there are there are quite a few players that are quite a bit better than me on, on almost everything else. <laughs> fair, fair. You'll take your title where you can get it. <laughs> exactly. I'm definitely oversteering in that tube, but whatever. Yeah. I think 57s are doable. I like that. Yeah. And yeah, it's been a while since I played this one. It's on my playlist, but my playlist is getting so big that, like, <laughs> maps are getting played less and less just by the fact that it's getting bigger. And at the same time, it'll skip, like, seven maps. And then play one map, skip seven maps, like, in, in the order. Yeah, go, I always have it randomized. I don't... Well, I... At least the first hundred, probably, are organized by author, because that's, like, when I initially made it. I would just go author to author. And then I just since, like, added as people release things and whatnot. But, like, I don't want to play eight of one person's maps in a row, and then eight of the... Like, I'd much rather just have it random. Yeah. Yeah, random is interesting in this game. It's not always the best. It can get no. annoying. It's it sucks when like I have a playlist of three hundred tracks, three hundred and six I believe. Yep. 
and it plays through the same like 40 tracks yeah every time true without failure it's like i'll get like three repeat three repeats in like 10 minutes or like like in in like three hours yeah i think i'm up to like 160 ish now um and there are some maps like looking through it i'm like that map is on this playlist like it just never comes up or something like you just yeah, don't that's see the other it thing. when i when i made my playlist like i put a few tracks on where it's like oh i remember that track and then I play, it's like, this is not the map I was thinking of. Or like, how did this map get in here? I'm what is this map? Yeah, yeah, there are some also where it's like, oh, I need to remove that. Like, it's just... Uh, GG, by the way. Let's go, GG's. Uh, aw, and I was on a good oh. run at the end and messed it up. That would have been 27. Or, 50, uh, yeah, 57. Nice. So what do you want for the next? Uh, let's go with the... the what was it? The, the Rocky... Uh, Boulder Valley? That one? Yeah, Boulder Valley. Cool. I think I got it just in time. <laughs> A Lex Limbo map, fellow CTR. Mm -hmm. Love Lex tracks. This one, this this one's a fun map. It's mm -hmm. it flows pretty well, and normally I can. Oh, I am not think this is not the map I was expecting, but uh, <laughs> yeah, also like this map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you yeah. know the I one know. like in the mountains. Um, just super flowy, kind of just a snake map, kind of like rocks on both sides so. of Lex. That's what I thought this was. Uh, Boulder Valley. I do like this one though. So we'll see. Do you go wide? Do you know uh, the very first part? You do the left left hand turn and then you go uphill a little bit, right? Um, do you go wide on that uphill? I do don't think so. I think I try and take it as tight as I can. I'll pay attention on the next one. I actually found it's slightly faster to go to wide, go wide. Then you don't catch, yeah you don't catch any air and it gives you like an extra speed maybe even half a speed more wait so, so like do you mean this very bit. first left hand turn to go around the lights yeah uh no no you still go you still go on the inside of the lights but you go wide as you're like going exiting oh yeah and that way you don't catch any air and it it gives you a little bit of extra speed and because it's all about um speed preservation that'll carry till the booster's yeah. halfway through i uh oh. i think that's a really is that a really really good time i forget what people put on uh, this no map. no one 109 is is a good time okay i forget what people put on this map i couldn't remember it was 109 or 110 that we go for I've gotten down to 109.5, I believe. That makes sense. Yeah, that does sound right. But, Let's like, see. a 109... Ooh, my cool Any 109 is, is good. Yeah. Break, break I mean, this, this map gets played a good bit in, like, CTR lobbies. We love our Lux maps. Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's the 109. 109. Let's go. I, think you break I don't a think bit that'll uh, that jump. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. I've tried breaking a lot. I've tried not it breaking. Not I've tried a little. Breaking a little bit gives you like compared to not breaking at all, it gives you like an extra 0.1 seconds. Hmm. And I mean, you're talking like or very, very minimal. Like uh, I'm the breaking. Yeah. I mean. Like just a quick tap as you're leaving. Yeah, as you're leaving. Like you hold the brake as you're leaving. Interesting. Yeah. I don't and know. Then like, another. Oh, oh, continue. I, I was just I just hit that checkpoint and it was yellow, doing it, and it's like I don't know. You'll be a little bit slow on speed. It doesn't matter. You'll get to 150 Are from you that booster. About the, the jump or the. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the big jump. Is that not what we were talking about? Oh. It, you know, I was. I thought you went back to that first turn at the beginning. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at that jump. On a pretty good run here. Let's see. There we go. A little improvement. 109.69. That's, that's a good run. Thank you. Thank you. Another very important spot to uh, save speed is that, that wall right jump. You want to hit oh, it yeah. as low as low as possible yep while still being able to flatten out without uh without sliding 
Yeah, I uh, my very first run I crashed there trying to take it too low. I didn't even make the jump. Like as low oh. as you possibly can is ideal. Yeah. I've done it I've done it twice. <laughs> crashed there or Yeah, yeah, I've, I've oh, yeah. taken it just too low twice so far. And you I mean that's you're gonna get so much extra speed doing that that like mm -hmm. it's really worth pushing. Or right here is what we're talking about, people watching the video. Um, that like transition there, I just uh, hit it. <laughs> I'm going the other way. Oh no, I I went too far on the jump. No. Oh no. This might be a GG. And I assume in the uh, t the tunnel at the end, you don't loop over the top. You kind of try and take it flat. I actually do. Oh I loop really? Over the top. Yeah. Huh. Oh no. I it's, don't. Yeah, that's a GG. I start I start high. So you you there's the first. What do you want for the last round? Quickly. Right? Trains out. Roman uh, ruins or tunnel speedster. Tunnel speedster. Tunnel okay. speedster. Just because. Okay. Yeah. Game seven. Best of best luck. Ooh boy. Yeah. You uh you didn't play yeah, a couple so of I, day I, earlier, did you? No, I didn't. I I've been a little sick, so I oh. I woke up and it was just that I wasn't feeling it. That so is like, stressful. Oh, yeah. I know. Having one run. This I, I haven't done any of the couple of the days. I want to, but... Well, there's only been two so far. That's true. Okay, I'm being passed. That's fun. <laughs> I, I, I am not Aww. good at this map. I did the exact same thing. I was like, I'm going to follow his line. <laughs> Thanks. Nah. I am not good at this map. I, I, you know I know haven't really played it, but... watching you? <laughs> yeah, and you had to crash. <laughs> Just very to make sure. Very and it, it, it causes you to crash very often. Okay. I was trying to follow your line again because we crashed the same spot, so I reset right behind you. And I saw you enter a turn differently than I have been. So maybe that'll be a bit of a trick. If you get it just right, you can actually jump straight to the finish yeah. without hitting the ground. Yeah, I did know that. I mean, I've only played this map like maybe two or three times i i don't know it for whatever reason it's just not my favorite there's a bit of the whole uh ice aspect yeah it's a bobsled like, map we know the ice approach to this not a ton it, it becomes less and less like applicable mm -hmm. the the more the grippy the surface you're driving on is yeah makes sense but there is a bit of like, oh yeah, you do this the same way you would approach the same level, but in ice. Yeah, I mean, you can't like correct as easily in the middle of these like high speed tight turns. Like you're kind of, what, however yeah. you entered it, you're kind of set. Like that's how you mm -hmm. did it. That's true. And yeah, it's, this is, this is, this map is from the original ZSL. Yeah, I didn't have like, a game back then. That was, I think it was April. <sighs> Did I have to? Sure. I wouldn't correct you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm one of the new school players. Me and Maki. <laughs> I think me and Maki got the game about the same time, roughly. We'll take on you old school same. players. <laughs> I think I got the game the same day that Khan released his video. I was like, ooh, that actually looks like, like a really fun game. Oh, okay. I, I was. I, I thought at first you were saying that you just like happened to get it and then Con released video, but like you saw his video and got it. No, yeah, it was the same day he released it. Mm-hmm. I mean, after watching it. most of the community is like from those <laughs> guys. True. Uh -huh. And it's also great in lobbies when uh, people like first day on or whatever. Yeah. Like, I got the game because of, like I watched Dapper's Cheese and I love it. And everyone, the community is just such <laughs> trolls. People are just like, what are you talking about? Who? Yeah. It, like, we all got the game because of that as well, but we're all just trolls. <laughs> what does DTR stand for again? <laughs> I have no idea. I've been trying to find out for ages. <laughs> all I know is it doesn't stand for Calamity Team Racing. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> exactly. I keep sliding up the same spot. Yeah, this is another, like, just don't slide out. Yeah, I mean. 
uh, it'd be hard to find a map where sliding out is what you want to do. That's true. I oh. guess it's drift maps. I'm not a fan of. Do you like drift maps? Ah, uh, they're. It's difficult to get them implemented well. Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't want to call them gimmicky, but I also want to call them gimmicky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean drifting in general is pretty gimmicky like in in real life even like unless it's like you're on a very slick surface drifting is not going to be faster than just taking it without sliding out yeah true am i gonna hit that cactus oh. yes i am is my body gonna make it yes it is not faster is it faster uh somehow crashing is not the best strategy on this map <laughs> Really? <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. That's GG's. You won this one. Game 7 again. That was fun. Thanks for coming on, and make sure to send me your mammoth, so that way I can put it in. And, uh, I'll, I'll add your, your channel link down below. I don't- I think you said you might be uploading videos, uh, maybe some ice stuff. Yeah. I've got some ice stuff. I have all the ice authors, or at least the, the times that were used to mm -hmm. figure out the ice author times for yeah. the, the campaign levels. I, I've been meaning to do that. I, I have quite a few, uh, yeah, stuff to put together. Cool. It so just everyone happened. just go subscribe in case Seabat ever does that, and maybe send him a message and tell him too. But thanks for coming on, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Thank you very much.